It's Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports, and today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Kansas City Chiefs coming up next. From one of the loudest venues in the National Football League, you get a look there at GHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Kansas City Chiefs. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Arrowhead. Take it in at the three. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Time to see what Patrick Mahomes can do here with his first possession. The quarterback out of Texas Tech getting set to lead this KC Chiefs offense. And simply put, for many, he's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create find the open man, use all the different arm angles that he has. He's a complete package, and boy, his team loves to play around him. Throwing at the outset, here's Mahomes. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scantling. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Some early fireworks on the first play from scrimmage. The last fireworks I saw, July 4th, okay? Here they are celebrating the start of this game the exact same way. Explosive right out of the gate. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Throwing now is Mahomes. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game. And you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. And gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. and really gets them amped up as they go forward. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold him to no gain. And he will have a Chiefs first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want their body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive.
from the gun. They'll try to run it. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. That good for 19 and a first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. They'll try to run it in, going option right. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Patrick Mahomes scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Chiefs are on the board first here this afternoon. Solid finish to a solid opening drive. And that's the threat that he represents. He can take off and score on you. What he makes it is 11 on 11 football. Because a lot of the times the quarterback isn't much of a runner. So you don't have to account for him. Well, you do with him. And now he actually gets a lead blocker instead. And he's able to catch that one in. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Phillies offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. But first down, Hurts. And that's incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing his Hurts. Fly. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. And that was Carlos Dunlap who got in to take him down. All right, partner, I'm going to be Captain Obvious right here. Not the start you're looking for offensively, right? Incomplete pass, followed by a sack. And when he went down, it looked like that right ankle got turned, but thankfully he popped up okay, and they breathe a sigh of relief on that sideline. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. They'll drop the throw. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. Now a fair catch called for and made right on the 45-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return, and it's Chiefs football, first and 10. The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at the 45. Here's Mahomes to throw. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And they're going to get this up to midfield. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. From midfield, here's Mahomes being chased out left. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. 
And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that will bring up third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Hands it off out of the gun. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. That's a tremendous group effort there, because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones, talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. First and ten. Here's Mahomes. Flush to his right. Now he's going to throw it deep to the other side of the field. And this one is incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. So second down. Still ten yards to go. Ball on the 43. to throw it's Mahomes eagle pressure too much this time down he goes give that sack to the Kobe Dean just not much a quarterback can do there CD the pressure was in his face almost instantaneously led to a very quick sack yeah that's one where you turn to your lineman and say uh, guys can I get a little help here and you have to ask politely because remember they're blocking for you the entire game but as a quarterback You've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. He got outside the pocket there trying to improvise, and he was calling for the ball downfield, but still the interception. I think what happened, he did call for the ball thinking that he was open, but I think the quarterback spotted him too late, and that margin that he had on the defenders, that got eaten up, and they came up with the interception. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver Brown. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Okay, so now the question, how did he get that wide open? Well, we both know that he shouldn't because from the time they handed out scouting reports before this game, he was circled, starred, everything. Find him, cover him. But sometimes you can scheme a guy open. You put the receivers in a bunch. Maybe you move some motion. Maybe you put him on the backside of a formation, and all of a sudden you've got a better matchup. Every now and then, the offensive guys, they figure a way to get him open, even with everyone keeping eyes on him. And that's certainly a guy they want to keep trying to scheme open. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Hurts with a little pop pass on the jet sweep. Brown with a stick skills. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Here's Hurts to throw. Goes with the out route and completes it to Swift. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. He gets seven out of it, and he also gets a first. 
This offense is starting to get into rhythm. A nice quick throw there on target, able to pick up another first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On the ground, this is Rashad Penny. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs or putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. On second and 11 now. Hurts. That's to the speedster Olamide Zacchaeus. <laughs> After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Hurts. This will be caught by Brown. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. They'll get this out wide to Penny. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Second and eight coming from the 19. Inside handoff, Penny. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. So two of two on third down conversions on this drive, and now they face a third and three here. They'll try to run for it with Penny. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Incomplete. You tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Hurt sets up to throw it. Caught on the slant. They stop short. Down at the one. Had the great move, but couldn't get it all the way home. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes. You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. 
But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Eluding the pressure right. And he will not get away. He sacked back around the three-yard line. And the defense rises to the challenge. They get him down for a loss of two, and it brings up fourth and goal. You and I both know we're into a whole new realm of football because we're not just looking at tendencies anymore. We're looking at analytics, and I've got to think the analytics on third and one say run the football. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. The kick by Elliott is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for them. You're exactly right about that. And this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision-making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. To the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he returns this to the 22. And now here comes Kansas City. Been in a little bit of an interesting start. The first drive for him, Charles, they had the passing touchdown. The second drive, he threw the interception. So we'll see what this third drive of the ball game brings. Yeah, it's kind of a tiebreaker, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, that's a tough part for them and for him because, yeah, things went really well in that first one, not so well on the second one. He wants to get back to what he did to get this game going. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. A perfect example right there, Charles, of why they love this rookie runner. And think about how the NFL and the college games are meshing together more and more. You don't have to go to the NFL and learn a new set of skills. What you did in college often makes you ready for the NFL. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. His second catch. This one not quite as dynamic as his first. And it's second down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Mahomes now to throw. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over... We step aside. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. Fair 
catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17 yard line 37 yards on the punt with no return and it will be Eagles football first and 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. Flushed out right. And incomplete on a deep ball. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. On second and ten, Hurts forced out to his left. Got a man, it's Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets his football out shy of the 30 to the 29. 11 yards for number 11. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Second down and three. He'll drop to throw. That's caught by Pennick. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down. Let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Back to throw now on first down. Zacchaeus here hauling it in. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Well, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. That was Nick Bolton rushing in and burying him behind the line. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. First things first, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for Philadelphia. And they did not do much at all in terms of throwing the football in those first two quarters. That's gonna need to improve if they wanna erase this deficit. Meanwhile, for the Chiefs, they too have found passing lanes to be hard to come by so far. As you see by the numbers, they'll need to figure that out in the second half. Okay, coach, yeah, adjustments likely gonna play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far.
It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. This taken in at the goal line. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And he'll return this one all the way onto the other side of the field. Well, that return had all the trappings of really good scouting. You can tell that they thought they saw something on tape that they could take advantage of, and they dialed it up at just the right time to give them a great return. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. From the 45 on second down, Hurts dumps that off to Penny as running back. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. But they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Now it's second and nine. They'll look to throw here. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long the way out there, but it'll be third down. What we've seen so far in this game, they're not going to allow a big shot over the top. You can have whatever you want underneath. They'll give you that, but they're not going to let you beat them deep. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Throwing his hurts. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And they're going to move it down the inside the 25. For as many sacks as this defense has, you can understand their willingness to try and get upfield and get another. So what a really smart play call here to use their aggression against them. Go with the screen, and they're able to get the first down. They'll try the right side here with Penny. They'll get this down to the 21, just on the edge of the red zone. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he's trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They're going to look to throw, and his throw is incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. He hit his first, this one from 38. The kick by Elliott is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. 
So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. Now Mahomes. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And brought down but not before reaching the 25. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. And defensively they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Mahomes now on first down. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. Now, coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, get your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Back-to-back -to -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Mahomes going to throw. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Tony, And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. The offense schemed going five wide, trying to create a chance for the big shot, and they took it. If he comes down with that one, that's a huge offensive swing. But credit the defense with a nice play, knocking that one away. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there. And they pick up the first down. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Yeah, their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. A third quarter now to one-point game as they line up second and ten. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. 
This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. To throw, it's Mahomes. Flush to his right. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 26. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? Throwing now is Mahomes. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. And when you're throwing the ball downfield really well like they have been on this drive, it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in. One of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with 10 to 12 screens because if he starts feeling the pressure from the defense, he uses their aggressiveness against them. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Now here's Mahomes. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. A third quarter action from Kansas City, second down and 10. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he'll be taken down at the 34. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A sizable 16-yard chunk there. The drive continues. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Here's Mahomes to throw. Throw left side, complete to Tony. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. And decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. And they got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. Well, that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving a running back a crease to run through. And has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. Mahomes looking to throw on third and two. And this is caught. He hits more. And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Looking to throw is Mahomes. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. 
They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Mahomes now to throw. Touchdown! Marquez Valdez Scantling bringing in that one from Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. So an important drive for them there. They're not home, but momentum, Charles, definitely in their favor now. And I like the point you just made. They're not home yet, but a one-point game, and if you kick the extra point, make it an eight-point game. Only one score, but you're right. Momentum definitely in their favor right now. Butker now to add the extra point. And it's up. It's good. Our score, 14-6. to six. And what a drive that was. 16 plays all told. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Painter. the touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. There's still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. Just a one-possession game down eight. They'll be looking for the touchdown and two-point conversion. A field goal here on this drive does very little at this stage. He'll hit Jackson complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Penny up the middle. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. From the 40 now on second down, Hurts completes his Zacchaeus. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. And that's a much needed first down right there. Look, they're down by eight. So logic says they don't have to get a touchdown out of this drive. But the way things are going, I don't know if I'd put it in the hands of my defense here. You might not get the ball back at all. So if a fourth down situation comes up, I'm thinking hard about going for it right here and right now. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Hurts. And connecting quickly with Goddard. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. On second down, Swift. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork, and they add a little, little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Hurt sets up to throw it. Got a man, it's Brown. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, 
why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. From the 31, Hurts. Open that has got it, the tight end. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 21. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. And he can't get a throw off. He's taking down. What a huge play at this point in the game. It was Frank Clark that time who got in there to bring him down. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Back to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was unable to complete it there and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. They'll look to throw. Dumps that off to Petty, his running back. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Nothing open downfield. They went underneath. Yeah, see if you can get it to your running back. See if you can make someone miss in the open field. First and goal, a touchdown and a two-point conversion here are musts. And that's going to be caught front Eagles touchdown. Olamide Zacchaeus, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. So they got the touchdown they needed to cut this to two, but now they've got to get back to the huddle. No celebration time. Got to figure out what they're going to do on the two-point conversion. So a big play for the Eagles now as they'll go for two. Hertz will throw to the end zone, but it's incomplete. And a failure to convert and tie the game. Now the pressure shifts back to the defense. But I think it was the right play. I think it was the right call to try and tie the game there. Kick an extra point, you're still down one. What's the sense? I, I like what they did. So with just over a minute to play, this becomes a make or break onside kick. Oh, it looked like the Eagles got this back. Yes, Philadelphia football. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Back to throw. Out route pass complete to Goddard. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. 
That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that'll bring up second down. From the gun, to give to Penny. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now they'll run it again with Penny. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. A handoff to Penny. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards a game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for first. <laughs> Got a quick flash about being in their huddle. Whatever the play call was, it was tagged with these words. Make sure you stay in the middle of the field. That's where we want to be. And he did just that. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, Penny, and he is going to lose yardage here. And with inside of 10 seconds, eight to be precise, we get whistles and a timeout on the field. Right now, everything resting on the right foot of Jake Elliott. Two for two on the afternoon, and a third would win. And this one is right through. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So there was a little meat on that ball, a little more than a chip shot considering the circumstances, but he's able to bang it home in what should be the game winner. And the key was getting him into a good position to kick from. I mean, if that's a 52-yarder, you're going to have some anxious moments, but kickers nowadays, you give them anything under 40, and they're automatic. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. From the six. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Oh, he forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Evans. And the Eagles are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. Charles, in these lower scoring games, you know it better than anybody. Uh, points are at such a premium, but taking care of the football is king. They play turnover free from whistle to whistle, and they come through with a victory. Yeah, and that's what won them the game because even doing it that way, being that clean partner, they weren't able to really run away with this game. So that tells us just how important it was to make sure you played mistake-free football that led to the victory.